everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Mark Warner. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, source and or origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunlac and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. Reading from the first book of Maccabees, Judas and his brother said, Now that our enemies have been defeated, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and dedicate it. So they marshaled the whole army and went up to Mount Zion on the, on the 25th of the ninth month, Chislev, in the year 148. They rose at dawn and offered a lawful sacrifice on the new altar of Holocaust, which they had made. The altar was dedicated to the sound of zithers, harps and cymbals, at the same time of year, and on the same day of which the pagans had originally profound it, the whole people fell prostrate in adoration, praising to the skies him who had made them so successful. For eight days they celebrated this dedication at the altar, joyfully offering holocaust, communion sacrifices, and thanksgiving. They ornamented the front of the temple with crowns and bosses of gold, repaired the gates and the storerooms, and fitted them with, the, with doors. There was no end to the rejoicing among the people, and the reproach of the pagans was lifted from them. Judas, with his brothers and the whole assembly of Israel, made it a law that the days of the, de of the dedication of, of the altar should be celebrated yearly at the proper season for eight days, beginning on the 12th, 25th of the month, which is led with rejoicing gladness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, we praise your glorious name, O Lord. We praise your glorious name, O Lord. Bless are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever, for ages unending. We praise, praise your, your glorious, glorious name, name, O Lord. Lord. Yours, Lord, are greatness and power, and splendor and triumph and glory. All is yours in heaven and on earth. We, we your praise glorious, your name, glorious name, O Lord. Lord. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are supreme over all. Both honoured and riches come from you. We praise your glorious name, O Lord. You are the ruler of all. From your hand comes strength and power. From your hand comes greatness and might. We praise your glorious name, O Lord. We stand to greet the gospel. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia. Our Saviour Jesus Christ abolished death and he has proclaimed life through the good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, girls. Go back to your seats, please. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Jesus went into the temple and began driving out those who were selling. Who were selling, according to Scripture, he said, "My house will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a robber's den." He taught in the temple every day. The chief priests and the scribes, with the support of the leading citizens, tried to do away with him. But they did not see how they could carry this out because the people as a whole hung to his words. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> so we had that uh, Gospel episode, how Christ went into the temple and he was angry, uh, overturning the tables, and uh, driving people out. Um, you need to understand the context and the background. In those days, um, it was a religious duty for the Jewish people to go up to the temple in Jerusalem and offer animal sacrifice as atonement for their sins. And of course, the religious authorities, the Pharisees and the scribes, they controlled life. State and religious uh, life was combined in these religious uh, personalities. Uh, in a secular state, the institutions are separate religious institution and the secular institution, like Britain. Britain is a secular state. It's not ruled by religious authorities. But in the Muslim countries, the Ayatollahs, they control religious life and political, they combine the two. Anyway, um, the religious authorities then, they organize the selling of animals, which were to be used for the a sacrifice, and um, they charged exorbitantly. There were scandals, there were abuses. The common man could not afford the prizes. Little animals which could be sold at a cheaper price in uh, the markets outside, they were sold at a very exorbitant price. So Jesus observed all those scandals that were going on and abuses how the common man was exploited and people were generally exploited and he, he couldn't stand it. He was so angry and furious so he had to show a sign. He drove them out of the temple, stopped turning my father's house into a robber's den. You know. So you, you, if you understand the context then you can see why he did it and what was going on. Otherwise the words would just remain there, you wouldn't understand. So, um, the church is supposed to be a place where people feel welcome. The church is supposed to be a place where people feel loved. We're supposed to um, care for people. We're not supposed to exploit people in church space or abuse people in church space. That, that is the message. And uh, towards the end of the story there, it's mentioned that the authorities wanted to do away with Christ. They were very angry, of course. And they were afraid <coughs> because the people, as usual, they welcomed the good news. It was salvation, it was sweet, you know? And not exploiting people, and loving people, the common people, is good news. And they heard it, and they were attracted by it. So the authorities knew if they laid hands on Jesus, they would be attacked. There would be a reaction from the people. That goes on all the time, you see. Um, religion is supposed to be there to protect people, especially the poor and the weak. And each time where Christianity is being attacked and believers are being persecuted for their faith, it's the same thing. You get, instead, Christianity thrives. And you get martyrs, people who have the strong gift of faith, 
they are ready to die for their faith. And that produces results. It's very fascinating how it works. In those countries where there are persecutions, the church is very, very strong. And today we are celebrating St. Andrew Dung Lak from Vietnam. We have these famous names in the church's calendar and we celebrate them because they encourage us. Uh, Andrew Dung Lak was a priest in Vietnam, Vietnam uh, in the 18th century. There was a lot of persecution of Christians and he and several others were ready to die for their faith. They stood up to the regime. And today we are celebrating them. They are saints, they are martyrs, and they stood up for the Christian faith. They stood up for the gospel. And uh, they are an encouragement to all of us. If your faith means something to you, you should be ready to make sacrifices. We may not have to die for the faith. We may not experience persecution, but our faith makes demands on us. Little, little challenges, you know, that we have to accept in our lives joyfully because we love God. Okay, bidding prayers. Dear God, we pray the year 11 and 13 pupils find the strength and courage to continue their hard work over the next coming months in preparation for their coming examinations. We hope they achieve their desires and pursue the pathway they aim to achieve. We thank God for giving us access to education as there are many children around the world who are less fortunate than us. We are also thankful for our hard working teachers for never giving up on us and continue their support. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Dear God, we pray for those in the community who may be affected by loneliness as we approach the festive season. We give hope that they are not alone and that they enjoy the build-up to such a religious and joyous occasion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Dear God, God up in heaven, may you keep your children away from the war and violence around the world. May you help us to understand that you're merciful and that we can always rely on you for guidance. We pray for the many people experiencing times of sorrow, poverty and discrimination around the world. May you help us to find the light at the end of the tunnel. We thank you for our lives and our school community and we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Dear God, we pray for the world that in this time where war is happening, the world leaders will come together to help solve the issue. We pray for the lives lost to the Israel and Gaza war and for their families. We pray for resolution and hope. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We bring our prayers to Mary as we say. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. We are Father. Thank you, girls. Go back to your seats, please. <coughs> Those bringing the gifts, come forward.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of Andrew, St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, <clears throat> by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand for their Father. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, <clears throat> and on our head as this. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <laughs> Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take you with the saints of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take you with the saints of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take you with the saints of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Thank you for your presence. Thank you to the readers and our able musicians. And thank you, everybody. Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord that abiding in one as one in your love, we may merit to endure and eternal and we, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.
We shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give thanks to, to the, the Lord, for his great love is without, without end. end. Come bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Give thanks, Give thanks to, the to the Lord, Lord for his great for his love, love is without, is without end. end. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the, the Lord, Lord for his great love is without end. end. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture. The flock that is led by his hand. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the, to the Lord, Lord for his, his great, great love is without end. end. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts, O Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for his great, great love is without end. end. For forty years I was weary of his <coughs> people, and I said, the hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Give thanks, Give thanks to, the to the Lord, for his for great, great love, love is without end. end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, for his great, great love, love is without end. end. Lord, you will be, be pleased, pleased with, with lawful sacrifice, sacrifice offered, on, offered your on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offence. For wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness <coughs> that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my gift. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you'll be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust suffered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you will be pleased, pleased with lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. altar. All the descendants of Israel shall, shall glory and victory, victory to the Lord. Lord. 
truly God of Israel, the Saviour, who are God who lies hidden, they will be put to shame and disgrace, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. But Israel is saved by the Lord, saved forevermore. You will never be ashamed of his grace through endless ages. For this is the word of the Lord, the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken in secret, in some dark place. I have not said to Jacob's sons, search for me in vain. I am the Lord, I speak the truth, I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near you who have escaped from the nation. They know nothing who carry around their idols made of wood and keep on praying to a God that cannot save them. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves. Who proclaimed this beforehand? Who foretold it long ago? Was it not I, the Lord? There is no God but me, a God of justice, a saviour. There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. I for myself, I swear it. It is truth that goes forth from my mouth, a word beyond recall. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. They will say in the Lord alone our victory and power, and to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come victory and glory for all Israel's sons. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All, all the descendants, descendants of Israel, Israel shall glory in victory, victory to the Lord. The Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us who belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come before the Lord, the Lord singing, singing for, for joy. joy. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Do not use harmful words in talking. Use only helpful words, the kind that build up and provide what is needed, so that what you say will do good to those who hear you. And do not make God's Holy Spirit sad, for the Spirit is God's mark of ownership on you, a guarantee that the day will come when God will set you free. Get rid of all bitterness, passion and anger, no more shouting or insults, no more hateful feelings of any sort. Instead, be kind and tender-hearted to one another and forgive one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. In the morning, let me know your love. In the morning, let me know your love. Make me know the way I should walk. In the morning, let me know your love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the morning, let me know your love. The Lord has visited his people. He has come, come to redeem to them. them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old, a saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. We swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice 
all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, Lord has visited his people. He has, he come, has come to, to redeem, redeem them. them. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Through your cross and resurrection, you offer freedom and hope to those ready to receive them. Lord, show us your loving kindness. You are children of the day. Help us to live in the light of your presence. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Guide our thoughts, our words, our actions, so that what we do today may be pleasing to you. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Help us to avoid wrongdoing. Show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Through your passion and death, you have won life for us. Give us the strength of your Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, thy, be name. thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will, thy be, will done be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, you hold out the light of your word to those who do not know you. Strengthen in our hearts the faith you have given us, so that no trials may quench the fire your spirit has kindled within us. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the Pax Christi prayer. Thank, Thank you, loving God, God, for the, the gift, gift of life, for the wonderful, wonderful world, world which we all share, share for the joy of love and friendship, for the challenge of helping to build your kingdom. Strengthen my determination to work for a world of peace and justice. My conviction, however our nationality or race, we are all global citizens, one in Christ. My courage to challenge the powerful with the values of the gospel. My commitment to find non-violent ways of resolving, resolving conflict, conflict personal, personal local, local, national, and international, international. my efforts to forgive injuries and to, to love those I find it hard to love. love. Teach, Teach me to share, to share the right you have given, given me, to speak out for the victims of injustice who have, have no choice, voice, to reject, reject the violence which runs through much of our world today. today. Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, God Renew my hope for a world free from the cruelty and evil of war, so that we may all come to share in God's peace and justice. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.